Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to check amp draw of the components. There's only two components out here, the fan and the compressor. So what I'm looking for is the common side of the compressor. Remember, everything in here is hot now. Stick your fingers in there and it's going to really let you know this is 240 volt. So, uh, word to the wise. Okay, I just know from experience that the black is common. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay, I'm drawing 7.03. Now, I'm not going to show you the model plate, but on the model plate, there is a full load amps for the compressor. Okay, it's 10 amps, so this is well underneath the 10 amps. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to check the fan motor amp. So, these wires here are all going to the fan. Well, the one that doesn't go to the capacitor is the common. That's what I'm looking for this time again. Okay, I got 0.8. It's rated at 0.85. So it's okay. Amp draw is fine. We should check voltage while we're out here. Okay, I've switched the meter, the volts AC, and I take the two incoming wires. That's this white and black. Okay, we're running 242.9. All you electricians out there that are screaming bloody murder that I used a white wire on this, yes, it should have uh, tape on it. Many of them don't have it, but we pretty much know what they are anyway. So, anyway, you can gripe about that if you want. Okay, so the amp draw on this thing is fine. The... Uh, voltage on it is fine. All of our connections look good. They don't look like they're burned. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can determine refrigerant charge. And I'll go to that in the next video.